Hello and welcome to this episode of Is This Thing On by IDCast. I'm Elliot DeWitt and I'm here with Alex Cady um, from the Vern ID IT department. Alex, how are you doing today? I am fantastic. How about you? Doing great, man. Um, I just want to learn more about you and just kind of figure out you know, what you do here. So what do you, what do, you do? What is IT? What does that mean? IT to me means playing with toys all day. Okay. Expensive electronic toys all day. So that's really what it is. It's um, supporting people uh, and all their toys, uh, putting in new toys and yeah, just a lot of toys. Just a lot of toys. The toy so store. That's basically what it is to me. So. Okay. You've always been into computers like your whole life. Yeah, I'd say fairly young, probably like five, six, especially my generation. We've grown up with them a lot, yeah. so. It just kind of like a natural fit. I'm on it a lot anyway. So, mm-hmm. yeah. How old are you? I just turned 21 two weeks ago. Okay. So. Got it. Just need context because I'm like, oh, man. Mm-hmm. So you have had technology in your life from the beginning pretty much, right? Mm-hmm. So um, what capacity did you start out with technology? Like, Did you have a computer at home that you played with or was it what kind of things? Yeah, I used to run through like all of my dad's laptops, basically. Just yeah. all whatever business laptop he'd have at the time. I'd brick it somehow or something mm-hmm. and then move on. But yeah, it's always been, you know, stuff laying around. Yeah. Too, so. Would you get into like building your own computers and stuff? Um, Not a whole lot. Mm. Um, But I do have my own build at home that I, you know, daily. I like playing around with others that mm-hmm. I have. I have probably about five that I'll switch in and out of just okay. to play around with. But. Yeah. So then you've been doing that, like, when is the first time you kind of, like, started messing around with maybe, like, the inside of a computer? Um, That would probably be, like, 2017, like, freshman okay. year of high school, I think. Like, it was, like, or maybe even before that, it's just kind of, like, like, like the internet memetics of like stuff like hacker culture online yeah. or whatever. Like when you're like a kid, you think it's really cool. Yeah. So it's just kind of like a gravitation yeah. and stuff like that. So, so. then you kind of got into that and that mm-hmm. kind of helped draw you there. And then, so in high school, you did a lot of that too. Mm-hmm. Did you always know like you wanted to do computer science type stuff? Um, Not exactly. It's just kind of like something I like fell into, I suppose. Like it was just like a like a hobby that I could just, you know, walk into. So Yeah, and make a career out of. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Um, with IT itself, like, as far as, like, fixing toys, is it a lot of resetting passwords and having them turn it on and off again? That is the two most common things. Yeah. So that yeah. is the bulk of the work. Yeah. So. Other than that, like, is there other things that you enjoy working on with IT that are, like, maybe your favorite projects to do? I like doing a lot of uh, like infrastructure projects, okay. like um, with routing and just um, putting this stuff together, basically yeah. to keep the infrastructure going. So okay. a lot of networking stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, did you after high school? Is this like your first job out of high school, or did you go to college, or what did you do? I went to Lake Area back okay. in Watertown for two years, yep. um, and then I actually this is my first job coming off of that. Okay. So. And then what did you learn there? Like, was there specific things that you learned there? So the program was really um, titled Computer Information Systems. So Mm -hmm. it's a lot of, like, the practical stuff it uses, um, the curriculum that the most common certifications in the field use, like Mm -hmm. the CCNA, um, et cetera, just, like, entry-level IT cert. So a lot of it is, like, the foundation for where you can go anywhere. with Sure. Okay. Do people usually... Is that all they need for education, or does it lead to other education? IT is a really interesting field because the learning path can be different for anyone. Mm -hmm. Um, There's really no set path for it. That's definitely one of the ways. Like, there's a really solid foundation there. A lot of people are even self-taught off of certs, or they'll just get into position to keep going. So I would say there really is no limiting factor in IT as long as you put yourself in position. In the right spot. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. How did you, so? How did you end up finding a job at Vernity? How did you get here? Uh, indeed, it was okay. an ad for Indeed. I'd say, yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> it just worked. I got the call. I I liked um, meeting with them. And yeah, they, yeah, that's so cool. That's an ad for Indeed, I guess. Yeah, there you go. That's this episode sponsored by Indeed. Mm-hmm. Um, indeed, it is. Uh, what would you say? I kind of asked this, I guess, but your favorite part of your job? I I do like dealing with a lot of the people because it's just always like an interesting 
you know, what happened. Like you get, I get myself into like experiences mm-hmm. every day. It seems like, like it's just something you can make like a story out of it. Yeah. Funny, so, so like just the characters that you work with, like your coworkers or just like the people from Vernity that are, Oh, just Vernity broadly. Yeah. 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 I'd say it's just, that makes it fun. Yeah. So. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, where did you grow up? I'm from Watertown, Watertown, okay. South Dakota. So, so you were there all through high school and then went to college there. Mm hmm. And then Sioux Falls, is that your first move then? That was my first move out of uh, out of Watertown. So. How did that how's that been? It's been nice so far. Um I've been still no, I know my way around now. I got all my routines down. I'm basically a creature of habit down here now. Okay. But um yeah, it's been fun. I met some nice people out here. So Yeah. So this is like your first time living on your own? Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's you got like I don't need to know your address or anything, but like, you got an apartment? Are you in a house or what are you in? Yeah, without doxing myself, I, yeah. I am in an apartment. <laughs> okay, I, good. I did have two roommates when I moved down. Sure. Um, and now I just actually, just last week, I'm going into a single bed now. So I'm really okay. on my own now. So. Yeah, there you go. Um, what do you have for family where, where you're from? Uh, I'm an only child, so I just okay. have my mom, my dad, and my cat. Okay. Dutch. So What's your cat's name? Dutch. 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 Yeah, I found him when Great my. Name. Freshman year of college. So. Just found him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was uh, working at a gas station back home. Okay. And he was just out by the gas pumps. I took him in, and yeah, now he's mine. So. And he's yours now. Mm-hmm. And he's been in your life for, I mean, how many years is that then? Three? Yeah, three years. He's about to turn three. So. Okay. Mm-hmm. What kind of cat is it? I don't know cats very well, but. He's like a tabby, but he's got like a little bit of Siamese. So he's like, he's a little, he's a little tubby. He's like pretty long. <laughs> yeah. He's, a, he's a chill guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's cool. You big into animals or cats specifically I guess. yeah cats specifically i guess if you ask the office i'm like the cat guy you're the cat guy i love cats do you just put cats and stuff all the time or like if you look at my email signature like my official title is enjoyer of cats <laughs> okay like, that's so, a good title yeah so that's an accurate one for you though mm-hmm. yeah okay that's cool um so um one question i have i've been asking people is like what's your why like what kind of drives you hmm I guess there's a lot of things and it kind of depends on the day. So yeah. you kind of have to like abstract it. So it's like the fun of it or whatever meaning you can extract from it. So I think things that I can extract meaning from drive mm-hmm. me. So like what can I get out of this to make it like a worthwhile experience basically. Yeah. So anywhere I can go where I can find that, that's mm-hmm. makes stuff worth it. Are you learning? I'm sure like the, I don't know. The tech world is ever changing. So, mm-hmm. are you learning something new constantly? We basically have to. Yeah. yeah. So, um, there's just always new stuff coming in and out that we either have to upgrade, move away from, or so it's really like a lifelong learning process. Yeah. I'd say like you have to keep an open mind for what's yeah. going on. So. Is that, is, do you like that? Or you enjoy learning? Or yeah. yeah, I'd say there's not much else other than like novel experiences. So I'd say learning new things is, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. is it, do you enjoy at all, like, the if something's broke, being the one to figure out what broke it? That depends on what's broke okay. and the circumstances Like, that. what's a thing that would be kind of fun to figure out, do you think? Hmm. In your experience that you've had? Well, in my experience that I've had, we've, in, like, the year I've been here so far, like, there's been some, like, stuff that could be, like, like funnily catastrophic, mm-hmm. like just like oh, like firmware update took down the entire network. Oops. Yeah, yep. Oops. that's fun. Like and then yeah. everyone's breathing down, so it's just kind of like those type of situations where it's like you can look back on it and be like, haha, that happened. Yeah, yeah, those are pretty cool. Is it kind of there's a pressure of that? Do you enjoy that? Somewhat? There is, yeah, I'd say it is. I do enjoy it because there is that mm-hmm. where it's like everything's down mm-hmm. and you're just like everyone. Everything's on we're fire. so yes, and mm-hmm. we're everyone's so used to everything working generally. Mm-hmm. When it's down for even like five minutes, like the world's on fire, and we're like, "What do we even do? We can't work." Mm-hmm. And then, just do you just get call after call in that situation? Well, if everything's down, I won't get any calls, so it's a little yeah, peaceful. There you go. But there you go. <laughs> Phones are down too. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just one of those things where it's like, yeah, it happened. We'll get it done, and we can laugh about it. Yeah. Type thing, so. After the fact. Mm-hmm. Um. Do you get to go down to Sioux City every once in a while, too? Yeah, we do. I was actually down there last Tuesday. Okay. So. Mm-hmm. What do you do generally down the same stuff? Like, are you setting up people when they first start, or is it, like, 
monitors or like TVs or what do you all have to do? It is everything, yeah. uh, all the above. So we have to get people um, onboarded with their actual devices, um, make sure we actually do um, a lot of digital signage as well. So like with the TV stuff, okay. a lot of the signage around the dealerships, that's us as well. Okay. So it's really anything that has a computer chip behind it, we're probably responsible for yeah. most of the time. Okay. So. What's something that maybe most people don't know about maybe the IT department? Hmm. Don't they know about us as a whole? Yeah. Hmm. That's a tricky one. I know it is. Well, if anyone's been hip to it, we've been, uh, we're like superheroes. We like sit in the dark back yeah. there. It's like the IT stereotype. We like sit in the corner back there. Yeah. So if they didn't know that already, it is true. That's, you that's sit stereotype in the back, true. Sit mm -hmm. in the dark. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or like Batman. Yeah. There you go. Somebody like that. Um, what's maybe something that people may not know about you yourself? Um, I'm big into music. I love music. Okay. Um, love producing music as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I'm also, I like clothes. I really like um, designers in that respect, like Jun Takahashi, et cetera. So I, I just like, I'd say I like creative stuff. Oh, like that's when cool. people create. So. Is that rare? Is it rare? Um, it doesn't have to be, I yeah. don't think, just because anyone could do it. Right. But when people talk about creating things, whether it's movies, like what you guys are into, mm -hmm. all this stuff with creation, it's like, oh, I wish I had that idea. Yeah. But like, the idea is like kind of the hard part, you know. Sure. So. But like being a creative in that environment of IT, mm -hmm. is that unique? Have you found that to be? I mean, you it's your first job, so you probably mm -hmm. don't have a ton, but do you feel like you're unique in that situation? Um, a little bit. I'd say um, it just shapes me because I can see both worlds basically and they kind of overlap for me mm -hmm. and like how I can come back and approach with my daily life basically because that's going to influence it a lot. Yeah. So. Um, I couldn't tell you exactly how it does, but I just know from, you know, living it, it's going to be a little different than from what someone else has lived. Yeah. So. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, what do you enjoy doing in your free time? Well, besides um, producing like that, I'm also, yeah. I love running. I love cycling okay. as well. So now it's getting warm again, so I'm yeah. getting happy. So um, I do like reading. I like uh, reading treatises. I have a, uh, I have a bunch of Aristotle litterings around my office. So, okay. Yeah. Deep. Stuff like that. Yeah. It's, it's so deep. It's so it's deep. <laughs> wow, you're so deep. That's awesome. No. That's really cool. So with the music that you produce, mm -hmm. like, is there a style or genre that you would classify it in? Or I'd like to think it's genreless. I just make probably like a lot of trap music just sure. in that respect. So um, it's just always fun to make with you know, that process. Is it everything digital or you play guitar or any keyboards or anything like that? It's mostly digital. It's mostly just through a DAW. Okay. Just, uh, this video is sponsored by FL Studio. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's mostly just that. I kind of have like a wire to play around with. I do have a keyboard, but most of it is just done, just clicking stuff in. Okay. And that's like the fun part to me. Yeah. I'd say if you, if I can relate it back to IT, like it's really just like the process of clicking stuff in. Yeah. And it's okay. like all digital. So that's cool. Is there any vocal to anything that you add as well, or is it just? Uh, I got to use my voice as an instrument more, but I, do, yeah. I, don't, I don't do vocals in that okay. respect, no. Interesting. So. That's cool. Um, so I guess for this last question, hmm. my guess is music, but are you a more of a book guy, a music guy, or a movie guy? I'm going to go with music for okay. that. Okay. Hmm. What are your top three, it could be anything, artists, genres, uh, songs? Let's go top three artists. Top three artists of all time. I hope I know any of them. I'm, I might not. All right. Well, see, it's really hard because it really shifts depending on, like, the season. Yep. But I think if I had to pick, like, a static, especially in, like, rap, I'd have to go The Weeknd. Okay. Future. There and Drake. So you're into so hip-hop. big three. I am big into hip-hop. Okay. So. And that's always been the way? It's always been that way forever, even longer than where i am now i'd say is that there a was pretty good hip-hop scene in watertown would you say <laughs> or you uh, pretty unique in that yeah it, growing up it was always like a point of like oh I'm just, it's just me yeah but yeah um i haven't found it yet yeah so and that's why i'd say the internet has spurned like a lot of it is yeah. just like the internet's how you make things happen right so. exactly so the weekend um you said i can't remember him I got future, future, and you probably know Drake as well. Drake so. as well, yeah. Okay. 
pretty popular. They I've are heard of all three of them. See, that's the thing. Like, I listen to a lot more than that. But if I yeah. had to pick like my three constants, yeah. like throughout my life, it's like I can't go wrong. Yeah, and they probably mm-hmm. got long history, mm-hmm. so it's not like it's just like they have one album. Out. Yeah, right. Like yeah. I need like like if I'm stranded on an island, I need those discographies like, yeah. as a whole. You need the whole thing, like yeah. the whole Spotify channel mm-hmm. of Drake, exactly to help. Okay, that's cool. So then. Do you sample any, like, when you're making your own stuff, do you sample stuff from other things? Oh, yeah, I love sampling. It's, uh, like, I do create a lot myself, but, like, you can definitely grab a lot of inspiration from sampling. Like, especially, like, because I love, like, video games. Oh, I guess I didn't mention that. I just love video game soundtracks as well. So, like, a lot of it, like, I could just go, like, sample, like, Assassin's Creed soundtrack or something. Like, just, like, that type of stuff. I don't know how I forgot to mention that. I love video games. There you go. (laughs) But what what ones are your, like, so you have big into video games your whole life then? Yeah. That was, that's that's a like, what did you play well. growing up then? Oh, whole lot of stuff. That's definitely like top one. Like I love the Assassin's Creed. Okay, games. they're cool. I get into like a lot of genres. Like yeah. lately, I've been playing Morrowind. Like I'm, I love big into RPGs. Okay, uh, map games mm-hmm. like uh, grand strategy games. Just everything I can get my hands on. Basically. What are you? What's your system of preference? Is it all computer stuff or is it? You, like a PS5 or a Xbox? Or I definitely what? prefer uh, PC. I'm okay. pretty agnostic when it comes to consoles, but yeah. I'm probably going to go with PlayStation. At least these past few generations. Yeah, so. okay. Um, yeah, I'm definitely on PC most of the time. Okay. So, so then, so video games growing up, and then continue um, going through the soundtracks as well. So is it nice to, like, sample something and then have people... Do people listen to your music? Like, do you got a channel or anything? Um, I'm more on like the production side sure. of things, at least at this point, um, it's, you know, it could change, but most of it isn't even as like primary artist. It's mostly just like production, yeah. you know, beat creation. So, um, in that respect, yes, but not just for me. Like okay. I'll just kind of more in the background. Though. But like other people, would they have heard anything? Like, would they catch on to the Assassin's Creed sample unless, or, you know? I would be happy if they did. Yeah. Like, you know, it's kind of like one of those things where it's like someone who's like been there like me they're like oh yeah oh that's awesome yeah like that's kind of why i make it because that's how i feel about yeah. it so you'll it's catch like, it and then mm. you'll be like wow that's really creative mm. that's a good way to sink that in there kind mm. of a thing mm. you kind of know who your people are yeah if like, you catch that yeah exactly so it's like if you get it you get it like it's yeah cool. it's like mm. something like that cool i don't have any other questions like this i know we just buzzed right through that that was yeah that was the shortest one ever that was flow state yeah <laughs> we were really in the zone there is there anything that i didn't ask you that you wanted to talk about no i think we i think we pretty much it. hammered it all out mm-hmm. got her done probably out of here in what feels like five minutes i don't know if that's accurate Close I'm guessing not but we're good <laughs> mm-hmm. um so this is alex he's in our it department at vernity um this is another episode of is this thing on Uh, Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it. It is on. I think it's on. (laughs) Pretty sure.